What are the worst foods that you could eat in a day? Think about it. Get a few ideas because we're going to go through them. The number 10 worst food that you can eat, fried catfish. Catfish is a bottom feeder fish and it's full of toxins. It doesn't have as many nutrients as the fish like salmon that are real rich in essential fatty acids. Um, so you take this filet, cover it with white flour, which is also devoid of nutrients, and then you deep fry it. So then you get a whole bunch of fat, a whole bunch of carcinogens, and a whole bunch of calories. So that's why it's number 10. Number 9, canned soups. Now I know what you're thinking. You've seen the commercial and it says, soup is good food. Well, I hate to burst your bubble, but soups are really high in sodium and uh, they have MSG, which is a preservative. They also have lots of trans fats and again, the sodium, and it can even go up to 1100 milligrams in one cup. The recommended maximum amount of sodium in a day is 2400 milligrams. So you're getting almost half the recommended amount in a day just from one cup and you're probably eating more than one cup a day. So soup isn't really necessarily the best food for you. Number eight worst food to eat, bacon. I like to refer to bacon as fried salt and fat because <laughs> that's really all it is. Two strips of bacon, when you cook it and drain it, it's going to be about 120 calories and about 10 grams of fat and that's if you drain it. So if you're not draining your bacon, you're getting a lot more fat than that. It's also going to contain nitrates and nitrites which are absolutely related to stomach, pancreatic, and colon cancers. So stay away from the bacon. Number seven, fast food hamburger. Hopefully you didn't get one of these for lunch. So let's take an example. A Jack in the Box Ultimate Cheeseburger. It has 1,010 calories, 71 grams of fat, 1,580 milligrams of sodium, and 12 grams of sugar. So the average person needs about 2,000 calories a day. So you are getting over half of the amount of calories you would need in a day in that one hamburger. You're getting almost, you know, more than half of the amount of sodium you would need in a day. You are getting one and a half times the normal amount of fat that you would need in a diet in a day. And then you're getting extra sugar. So if you're wondering why you're really tired in the afternoons if you went and grabbed a hamburger at lunch, well, that's why. Number six, store-bought, commercially baked goods. Now we're talking Little Debbie's, Twinkies, Ding Dongs, Grandma's Cookies, Star Crunches. Um, God, the list can go on and on. These foods are going to be really high in fats, specifically the trans fats, which are going to reduce the good cholesterol in your body. Lots and lots of sugar, lots and lots of calories. Um, an option, an alternative to getting these store-bought baked goods would be to go to your local bakery. It'd be the lesser of two evils. Typically, they use less hydrogenated fats. Um, it's not as processed. They tend to use a little bit better ingredients. So if you're going to choose one, go with that option. But in general, if they're made by elves, you got to be careful because they're probably going to be uncommonly bad for you. Number five. The classic potato chip. And the reason why they say on the commercial, you know, you can't just have one, you gotta have the whole bag. Well, it's because they're so addictive. High in fat, high in calories, high in sodium, so it kind of makes you feel thirsty and makes you just crave more. Uh, these chips are gonna also have acrylamide, which is a known carcinogen related to um, certain types of cancers. So when you're buying these bags of potato chips, they're not like delicate slices of potatoes. They are processed to the max, pumped full of sodium, dripped in trans fats, you know, covered in hydrogenated oils, thrown into this bag. It's just, they're loaded with preservatives and sodium and all kinds of the bad things that you don't want in your diet. So definitely the chips would not be the best option. Number four hot dogs and lunch meats. Now, I like to refer to hot dogs as mystery meat because it's really a conglomeration of unknown parts of pork and beef. 
So, and the reason why I don't really, you know, recommend hot dogs is because um, they're really high in sodium. They have a lot of the nitrates and nitrites, which are, again, a known carcinogen. Um, and they're also really high in the lunch meats. So if you're going to a grocery store and you're buying just the, you know, the, the deli meats that they have at the deli counter, um, unless they say nitrate or nitrite free, they're actually going to um, influence cancer. So there was a study that was in Hawaii and it studied 200,000 people over a certain time period. And those who ate the most lunch meats had a 67 higher percent chance of pancreatic cancer. So that's a pretty big number. And there are definitely options available at um, health food stores and health food grocery stores like Whole Foods and Central Market. And they offer nitrate-free hot dogs and meats. And they taste great. They taste, you know, just like the other one, except they're going to be healthier for you. Number three, the French fry. Now, the french fries are served at a lot of different places. Some places that you would get them could be worse than others. You're getting french fries from some place that you can actually tell that it's, you know, cut french or cut potato, then that would be a better choice. Some of the fast food restaurants, unfortunately, it's it's actually a, a glue, a paste that they fry. So that would be the worst choice. Now, okay, these french fries are really non-nutrient containing foods. So you're replacing this french fry with something that could have more nutrients and then you're getting all these excess calories, all this excess sodium, and then it also contains acrylamide, which is a known carcinogen also found in items like potato chips. And the large french fry contains 300 times more than the recommended amount of acrylamide uh, by the EPA. So in one French fry, you are getting way more than you need to, which is going to lead to, you know, potential health problems. Number two, donuts. And you probably guessed that. The food industry lets you pick your flavor. So you have the chocolate ice, you have the vanilla ice, you have sprinkles, you have colored icing, you have coconut, you have uh, just, you know, the list could go on and on. So all these types of donuts are going to replace a healthy food that you would want to have for breakfast. These donuts are going to be really high in fat, really high in calories. One donut would equal 300 calories and 19 grams of fat. So in one donut, which I have found in the past has not been that filling, so it's possible that you're eating more than one, maybe even more than two, you're getting way more calories than you would need. You're going to hit a real high, sh you know, sugar high, which is going to, then you're going to crash. You're going to feel lethargic and not have energy because of what you ate. And number one, drum roll, please. Soda, of course. Soft drinks, um, all the, you know, varieties. They are loaded with sugar in the form of high fructose corn syrup, which reduces your feelness, your feeling of fullness. Um, they're loaded with caffeine, usually 30 to 55 milligrams of caffeine, which is going to be a good jolt. Um, they also are going to have preservatives and sodium and just tons of calories. Now, if you're the kind of person that doesn't just stick with the can, you go get the 42-ouncer um, that you, you know pick up from the fast food restaurant or the gas station. It has a whopping 410 calories. So if you're slipping on that through day, you're actually basically, it's liquid candy. You're, you're just, you know, sucking down sugar. And, you know, I would say if, if you're trying to lose weight, that would be the first thing to cut out. You'll have more energy, you'll feel better, and you'll start losing weight. Okay, so let's get to reality. If you went to the fast food restaurant today and you ordered a cheeseburger, french fries, a Coke, okay, you got three things that were on the list. So, in other words, you're eating three <laughs> of the top ten worst foods. And, unfortunately, that is part of the typical American lunch. So, if these are on the list. If these foods are on the list. You're not feeling good. You're overweight. You're frustrated with your life. You know, you, you just you feel depressed. I mean, food can definitely be related to how you feel. And I'd like to end this video by just saying, if you eat better, you will feel better. See you next time.